Oh, gosh, man. Football jig, littler guy. Not a huge chunk. Just dragging a football jig down and on this harder rock structure here. We've got kind of grass up on top with some bigger rock and then it kind of slides off on this edge and we're kind of trying to drag this thing off the edge. There's another one. Not in the grass necessarily. That's a pretty good one. There we go. It's a good chunk. It's a half ounce football jig. He's got it pretty good down there. Just throwing kind of a natural crop pattern, a little bit darker with a little flash in there. It's a real good color in the summer. Kind of looks like a bluegill crayfish. That's kind of what we're trying to imitate here. Just kind of bouncing along the bottom. Sometimes they'll hit it on that initial drop, but a lot of times with football jig, it's, it's when you, there's another one. It's usually when you're dragging it. Not a big one. Another fish though. On this particular jig for my trailer right now, you can use so many different types of trailers. Um, this one just ripped, so I'll just show you guys. But it's got a real heavy flap to it. It's um it's actually a spicy beaver. It's got these real thick tails, flapping tails, moves a lot of water. And what we're doing is we're not really, we're kind of creeping along, but I was moving it a little bit faster when those couple bit it. And we've got some color in the water right now. So anything with a little bit more action um, can just help them pick up your bait with their lateral line in this dirtier water. And um, so that's why I chose that trailer. You could, like I said, use a number of them. You know, some have no action at all. Uh, this one's got quite a bit of action to it. And so they might even hone in on it on the initial fall. But the last couple of fish we've caught have been when we're, when we're dragging it down there and those tails are kicking. I cut off just a little bit off the top and, and then thread it on there. And um, you can see in the water maybe how those tails really kick along. Creates a nice little profile of, you know, either a, a bluegill kind of swimming along down there or crayfish kind of trying to escape. This one. It's not huge. Actually, not bad. Oh, maybe he's bigger than I thought. That's, that one started fighting a little more after he, I don't think he knew he was hooked right away. That's a good one. Can't even see the football jig. Oh, look at that one. Man, is that fun or what? Half ounce football jig. Pigs. We found them on this little hard spot, the spine that kind of comes out from the, from the bank over here. That's a good chunk. Probably four pound or something like that. Man, that is fun. We got the school kind of out in front of us here and we're spot locked. The wind's kind of blowing right into us. 
just staying off the school, making a long cast with this football jig and just dragging it through there. And when you're making these longer casts with a football jig, you want to make sure you have the right rod for when you're actually able to set the hook. Um, you want a little bit longer rod than you'd maybe have if you're flipping shallow targets or what that allows you to do is on the hook set, it's just gonna allow you to take up more line and drive that hook in a lot better. So this is a 7.4, it's a medium heavy rod. I really like kind of more of a medium heavy rod. I feel like I lose less fish on it up near the boat. It drives the hook in, but it doesn't create such a big hole in the fish that you might lose them if they jump. We've got just 17 pound fluorocarbon. There's another good one. That one kind of ate it right as we started moving it. Hey, not too big, but he's a fun one. He's a fun size. Another good fish. Football jig. One thing that's real important when you're fishing this style is your hook set too. And, and any type of technique that you're using, there's kind of a specific hook set that works best for that technique. And with this football jig, it's definitely more of a longer sweep like that. Um, you know, you, you want to you set and then continue to set when you feel those fish. You don't want to snap set with these fish on long line. A lot of times you're going to lose them. So set the hook and then continue to set it and really drive that hook point in. That's another good chunk right there. Man, they're just fired up right now. It's so fun. He's got that thing deep. But it's not like, you know, if you're fishing docks or wood cover up on the bank, you know, you can slack line those fish and get away with it. Um, what I mean by that is dropping, dropping your rod tip, creating slack, and then setting the hook. You really kind of can't get away with that when you're fishing a football jig. Um, you you got to feel the bite, reel down into them, and then a long sweeping set. And it never hurts to set twice, too, if you you feel like you need to to drive that hook in maybe if you didn't get a good hook on the first swing it never hurts to swing again on it um, during the fight actually and along with the rod that you're using when you're fishing a football jig the line is almost just as important um, i've got 17 pound fluorocarbon on right now the football jig is a bottom oriented bait you're dragging it on the bottom so you want the most direct contact to your bait that you possibly can have and with fluorocarbon it allows you to do that because it sinks if you had monofilament you know you may have a bow in your line going down to your bait and it's not nearly as sensitive braid i don't like it with a football jig um, you're moving the bait a little bit slower so the fish tends to get a little bit better look at your bait and i just feel like i get more bites with fluorocarbon versus throwing it on braid so floor is the way to go for me. That's my personal preference. The area we're throwing this football jig in right now is kind of a mix of, um, there's some grass around here, but really where we're trying to target is a hard bottom area. That's where the football jig excels. You know, there's so many different types of jigs out there. There's swim jigs, flipping jigs, there's casting jigs. Um, the football jig really excels on hard bottom areas um, you know if you get it in grass it, it doesn't have a, a cone shaped head um, to really come through that grass real well you can see right there i was hung up in some grass we're trying to be around that grass on the rock the gravel uh, the sand that football jig is designed to crawl over those areas really well and comes through the rock a lot better than a cone head jig so you know, be cognizant of, of where you're fishing that football jig. If you're around grass, you probably want more of a cone head. When you're around rock, gravel, sand, that's where this football jig comes into play. You can actually, you can feel real well too with it compared to a cone head. The surface area is a lot wider um, than most jig heads, and that's gonna allow you to feel the bottom a lot better. 
uh, which in turn can tell you kind of when you're in that sweet spot where you need to kind of slow down and crawl that jig through it. So football jigs, think hard bottom, not muck, not grass. You want it sand, rock, or gravel um, are kind of the main areas where you want to be throwing that football jig and that's where you're going to have the best success with it.